tell me now what you do for me, girl. Been alone for some time, so it's new for me, girl. But I yeah. wanna take a chance on you truthfully, girl. Girl, I'll be a man, I know you need that. Where you all peace and need to leave that. Got you on my lock, I need to keep that. Yeah, I mean that. Oh, you see that. I've been trying to hold back out of practice of control. Every time I call you, girl, I always get that tone. I just need to see you, girl, I'm tired of that phone Just say when you alone, on my way I'm going gone, yeah I just told my shawty better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof We can do whatever, girl, come through I just told my shawty better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof We can do whatever, girl, come through It's been a long day, you should roll up Now it's you every time my phone buzz Need you around, I've been so alone Shit be hard when I'm on the road All this Louis love just made me worth the grill I don't really wanna touch you, less it's my for real I put all them diamonds on her like a chandelier She look familiar, swear to God I need her, swear to God I need love I've been in and out of lust, I've been in and out of touch I've been in and out of love, yeah I just told my shawty better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof We can do whatever, girl, come through I just told my shawty better come through We can turn it up Turn it up if you want to. Yeah. Look 
looking at the sky through the sunroof. roof We can do whatever, girl, come Come through. We can turn. 
it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof We can do whatever, girl, come through It's been a long day, you should roll up Now it's you every time my phone busts Need you around, I've been so alone Shit be hard when I'm on the road All this Louis luggage made me wet the grill I don't really wanna touch it, let's just mine for real
you do for me, girl? Been alone for some time, so it's new for me, girl. But I yeah. wanna take a chance on you truthfully, girl. Girl, I'll be a man, I know you need that. Boy, you're all peace, you need to leave that. Got you on my lock, I need to keep that. Yeah, I mean that. Oh, you see that? I've been trying to hold back, gotta practice of control. Every time I call you, girl, I always get that tone. I just need to see you, girl, I'm tired of that phone yeah. Just say when you alone, on my way, I'm going gone, yeah, yeah. I just told my shawty, better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof We can do whatever, girl, come through I just told my shawty, better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun Take a chance on you truthfully, girl Girl, I'll be a man, I know you need that Boy, you're all peace, you need to leave that Got you on my lock, I need to keep that Yeah, I mean that, oh, you see that I've been trying to hold back, gotta practice of control Every time I call you, girl, I always get that tone I just need to see you, girl, I'm tired of that phone Just say when you alone Better come through We can turn it up if you want 
know this music is hard, but I know you're also doing an incredible job. I just worry that it might take a lot out of you. And Yo, what's good, everybody? We're back with another Soul Dog Live, another Soul Dog Podcast on this Wednesday. Man, y'all smash that like button. Sub up to the channel if you're new and if you haven't done so already. Of course, y'all know my name is Jeremy Jones, and what I normally do is make content about sneakers, occasional trial hauls, and y'all know pretty much this is Soul Dog. We also have Music Monday on Monday. Appreciate everybody for tuning in and uh, joining that. Um, also, sign up for that Soul Dog Discord. Link is pinned at the top of the chat, and it is free to sign up. Um, we talk a little bit of everything over there from pretty much sneakers to music to a lounge. You name it, we talk about it. Um, but you see, I got my homie in the building, and I'm going to let him go ahead and do his proper introductions. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yes, yeah, me, Dunks. I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, yeah, man, I saw that. Um, I didn't catch it, uh, but I saw that there was like a shock drop on um, some Dunks today. Um, yeah. I like those. I, You know, I mean, the... The outer, no, but I like I liked when you cut it away and how it reveals the red. I do yeah. like that part about it, but the shoe, if it was just that shoe alone, then no. But because it has like that underlying, you know, red under there, kind of makes it just a little bit better, you know. But I how like, many I people can it, how many people actually finna do that though? Yeah, true. It's you like the Haritos. Yeah, it's like the Haritos, like nobody's uh, is cutting those up, you know. It's like the Travis joint. Not on no. Yeah, the Travis, right. yeah. No, I'm not cutting that fucking shoe up because I like those, it. It's like those other dunks too that came out. Um, that did that. They were cutaways. Um, yeah. I can't remember the exact name right now, but they They've were done it with awesome. several dunks, and mm -hmm. it's always a love hate for me because it's like who gonna be the person to do it? Because it's it's like. The hype on the shoe is not because of the shoe itself, I feel. I feel like the hype is because of the tearaway feature. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Um, yeah, I can see that. But I did do a poll, so we'll talk about that, see who copped and who not. I don't know if you noticed when it dropped, it wasn't your typical, like, shock drop. It was a scratch-off joint where you yeah, had I was at work, so I didn't even see it. I, I didn't know when it happened, so, you know. Uh, 2 p.m. EST, so 2 p.m. my time. Uh, speaking of shock drops, by the way, um, there is supposed to be another shock drop allegedly tomorrow on sneakers for the um military blue fours, is what we got. Huh? Yeah, tomorrow at two o'clock p.m. EST, um, also known as the industrial blues, but we're gonna stick to the military blues. But uh, supposed to be a shock drop. In my opinion, I'm not saying it's not gonna happen. I just feel like it's a little too soon, considering how release date is May 25th. Um, uh, I think they could at least push it off to another week, man. Because it's like, think about it, if you well, at, least, at least even if they would have did it on the 25th of May, I mean on the 25th of April. I'm sorry, uh, it still would have been a month, a month away. You know, yeah, usually what we from what we've seen, the shock drops are usually about what three weeks out, something like that. Yeah, but you still got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. So why are you guys gonna do it like almost a, a month, almost two months early? You know. Yeah. Keep in mind, everybody. This is just alleged and rumors. We don't know. Yeah. We don't work for Nike, but that's that's the word on the talk on the streets. So mm -hmm. um, 
We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna keep my eye. But that was kind of stupid how they did it. Are you ready for a shock drop? Yes, yes, yes. I know, yeah, that was annoying. Yeah, I hated that. It bothered me. They're literally trying to like I feel like this shoe was hyped. That's why people want it. You know? I wouldn't be mad to be honest. I'm gonna go for them, but if I don't hit, like say if it gets to the point where I gotta wait till the official drop May 25th, I'm just do my typical go pick them up at Foot Locker. Um, I kind of like the buying and experience like in person that day, like versus you know, waking up knowing if the app is gonna trip or not. Versus if you already know, I like how they do. I'm not trying to um to like foot locker them like horn, but it's cool they do all that BS the day before, so you already know you got a decision. You know, you mm -hmm. all right, cool, I ain't get them there. But see, if you already know you got your pair secured, although I know some people still would try on sneakers, but it's like you don't have to, you know. Mm -hmm. It take the pressure off. It takes like that one little less stress. Yeah. You don't um, need. I mean, it's gonna be kind of crazy if they do do it tomorrow because, like you say, that's like way before the shoes even supposed to release. Uh, you know, so you know, why would you want to like just give it to people? You know, that early, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. like, at least wait two two more weeks at least. You said a week. I say two. I say I would say week minimum, but I'm more so like your answer better with two weeks because that's what I was thinking. But I was like, realistically, man, we already did this. Let us let's just move it to move it a week, move it forward a week. Mm -hmm. But um, again, I would actually if I had to pick, I would say two weeks out too. You know, the do two more weeks like not so, so. And I know you, you know, you've been a, an advocate for yes. these uh, military slash industrial yes. uh, yes. force. Um, yes, cop. I know a lot of people say yeah, yeah. a lot of people say I have it's been mixed feelings. A lot of people say they're because we got the Kobe's that's supposed to those Italian leathers, um Italian camel. I'm sorry. Yeah, um it's I like it, three. but it, yeah, there's three, but specifically the Italian camel. Um it's not a bad color. I, I like that, but I will, if they could do that on another shoe, because like you know, like I said before, and like we both agreed on. The Kobe is just a shoe we're just going to leave alone, you know? Yeah. You know, I, so, yeah. Like I say, I feel like, but that we already know for sure that that's going to be the hot one. That's the hot ticket. That's the one that's going to be gone, yeah. you know? Uh, I but feel like, I feel like they really, should try that colorway on a different shoe. Yeah, I would like that. I feel like the, um, the Phillies are going to be the last one. They're going to sell out, but they're going to be the last one. Yeah, no, nah, everybody on them Italians. Yeah, it's the Italians, and then what else they got? What is it? It's like South Beach. What's the other colorway? It's like it looks like a South Beach colorway. It's like green. It's like a tailish. I can't think of the name. I see. I'll, I'll check it out right now. All right. Um, cool. So we got the uh, Italian camo. Check. We have the Philly. You're right, check. and then we have the Venice Beach. There we go. That's why I was thinking of because I, I don't know why I was thinking South Beach, Florida, but it's actually Venice. Wait, Beach. And you're pretty. Still pretty spot on. I mean, yeah, everybody knew, knew I was the beach. Yeah, you knew yeah. it was one of those beaches, you know. Yeah, y'all knew what I meant. Y'all know what right. I meant, man. Exactly. So, how you feel about those Jackie Robertsons? On the fence, but more so, I'm, I'm not mad at them, bro. Like, and I'll say all this to say is like, I may like maybe even will pick these up for the gym to keep it a hundred. No disrespect. Yeah, it's not a bad shoe, you know. It's not yeah, a that's bad what I'm shoe. saying. Uh, and, I, and I like the, how. In my opinion, this one feels more like a Jackie Robinson than that dunk did, you know? Yeah. I, you know, I this one's got like that more, what's it called? That what was it? The Cooperstown? Yeah, I think Cooperstown so. Cooperstown collection. Yeah. This one has like more of that feel. Like it was like, you know, like what, something you know, he would actually have played. His era. Yeah, you know, like yeah. the dunks were cool and obviously, you know, it's a great shoe. Um but like I gotta say for me that Mike still my gripe about that shoe is that 42 on the side of it like that, you know? Yeah, I, I just don't like that part about it. But like I say, I just feel like that these um uh Air Max are 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 a better fit, if you get what I'm saying, you know. Yeah, it fits the nostalgia purpose yeah, of yeah. the shit too, if you mm -hmm. ask me. Um, as far as the dunks, I know what you mean. I know the 42, I wasn't a big fan of it. I didn't it have like the all over print on it or whatever. Yeah, it had the, and I was fine with that. But I was wasn't. Like, that that's what did it for me. Point. It was just that big, like reflective forty two on the side that's kind of just stood out. You know, they could have put that on the back hill or something. They could have, yeah. 
They should have put that and I look at us being Wait, wasn't it wasn't it one on the back hill too? If I'm if I'm no, not no, no, like they got it on the it was on the side back hill, right? I'm talking well, me, about I don't know. Let me just look it up just so yeah, look it up. I don't want to listen, I don't want to disgrace the shoe either, you know. So I yeah, I'm not sure trying to beat the shoe up. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna pull it up on the screen too while we look it up. Yeah, yeah, like you, yeah you do that too, so we can kind of be, you know. Let me let me see Jackie Robinson. I gotta put in dunk behind it. Okay, so that 42 was actually it looks like it was on the back, uh mm-hmm. not on the front, but okay. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm pulling up. I'm about to share the screen. Everybody, give me like two seconds. Uh, boom. Yeah, no, we're, yeah. So it was on the back. Um, yeah, I think it's just that little invisible all over print was too much for me. Yeah, that, yeah. I didn't like. Um, that. They would have just done the. Um, but see that the the that forty two is on the back hill, like on the side back hill. I wouldn't have mind if they could. Yeah, yeah. Now, now that I'm seeing it, yeah, they don't. But you're right. It's just like I don't know. Honestly, at this point now, I can't really say what it is about. Oh, I knew, you- I know what else it was for me too. Not to cut you off, <laughs> I don't like that small Nike check in the toe box area. Yeah, and, and you know, and Nike do they do that a couple times with their dunks. I, I hate that. They go through it with the setsu buns. Yeah, um, I hate that. With, they did it with a couple of their dunks. I hate that. All you know, that- one, one the thing I hate is I hate when they were doing. The double Nike sign. I know they don't do it on the shoes much. It's more so on the clothes. But I don't really like that. <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to beat these up. Uh, and for the people who do have these, man, mm-hmm. hey, if you like them, at the end of the day, we always gonna say buy what you like. Yeah, that's what yeah. makes it. And it's still it's still up there. So hey. yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like it, it's still up there. Obviously, it's worth talking about. So even if mm-hmm. me and Dunk said we ain't feeling the shoe, it's still a shoe that's gonna be mentioned. You know. Um, I just feel like it was room for improvement is the nicest way I could say it. Yeah. It's still no, I'm just gonna say is it's a good shoe. I just feel like the like I said the Air Max are a better fit. That's yeah, you know, I'm gonna leave it at, you know. Yeah, I like the Air Maxes better as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but let's uh I'm gonna introduce tonight's topics and then I'm gonna touch the chat see all we got in the building real quick. Uh pretty much we're gonna be talking Nike versus Omni and the Hellcat reloaded merch judgment update, which I just seen that kind of came out. Which I'm pretty sure if you're no you're not gonna be no genius and know how this pretty much went. And we'll uh touch on it because we've already been covering that story from kind of I want to say like beginning till end. And then um champion sales for over one billion dollars. Um I don't know the last I actually do have two champion items. I feel like that's a small number for for champion. For as long as they've been in the game, you know what I'm saying? You got to think about that. For as long as they've been in the game, a billion dollars obviously is great money, great, excellent money. But I feel like that's short change for a company like that, you know? But who's been rocking champion for the last what? Well, yeah, nobody, nobody, yeah, of course. You know, I mean, you know, obviously they went down in, you know, quality and sales. But, you know, I mean, just like, I mean, I guess hey, nobody cares about sentimental value, you know? Nobody yeah. cares how long you've been doing it for. We don't care about what you're worth now, you know? To me. So they said, we'd be more than generous to give you a billion, you know? Yeah. But, you know, I just feel like they should, they could have got, if they would have held out, they could have probably gotten more. Somebody would have saw the value, you know? True, but. I more so like your first answer where it's like you better be lucky you got that because <laughs> God, bi- business wise, business wise, you think it's, right. it's, hey, it's never personal. B, business yeah, business. exactly. <laughs> business wise, be happy they got that. But I know, like on like their on nostalgia purposes and how long they've been around, we think like, man, yeah, that should have been easily a cool twenty billion, you know. But I'm not gonna say that much. No, I'm not. I didn't say that. <laughs> I say I say at least three, at least three. I mean, then, yeah, that then that that's probably where it started. And like, hey, I got one billion, take it or leave and that, it, and that's where he stayed. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, um, let me touch the chat real quick, and then we'll uh touch on the poll that I uh put pause. up earlier. Pause, pause, big pause, no. pause, pause. <laughs> but on the um, <laughs> what the fuck was it that dropped today? Uh. Those, uh, I'm gonna call them the pastel dunks. I don't know. This one no, they call they floral call dunks. The what? Floral dunks. I don't know. Yeah, I got the exact name, but we're gonna touch on that. Pause. There's no way to say that correctly without pausing. Um, but let me see what we got in the button. Yeah, we're gonna check out the survey that I uh posted up. 
Uh, let's see. Kwame says, yo, what's good? What up, Kwame? Yo. We got Emery Black in the building says, yo, what up? Yo. Uh, we got Carlos Rom Ramones or Ramaz. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Uh, he's got a dab coming in here. He says, what up? What up? Yo. My bad if I pronounce your last name wrong, homie. Um, uh, Emery says, that shot drop was lame as F. So, I mean, it's a scratch off. And I really... <laughs> wish they would stop doing it it's really really annoying you got to scratch up on the screen and like my phone oh, yeah. i don't drop it so many times my calibration i know off so i ain't got a chance to help <laughs> um i'm just waiting for a new i don't the phone works so i ain't gonna buy another one because i'm trying to wait till a newer model comes out but yeah my yeah. joint it get the job done but ain't i don't expect to win no contest with the joint yeah. um let's see uh kwame says i caught an l2 uh he says what's good dunks yo uh man of the kick says what it looked like chat what up manny yo what's up manny bro um let's see we got kwame says salute to manny uh manny got the salute back for him kwame says they really want you to skate them hard with the wear away um how many people really finna do that though that's what they wanted with the that's what they wanted with the crenshaws by the way um that's what they wanted with the haritos that and that's the premise of shoes like that i feel that because they're predominantly well they are skate shoes they are skateboarding shoes you think they're meant for you know you think the sneaker community slash sneaker head slash sneaker whatever you want to call us collectors mess up stuff like this for the skaters because it's like they would love to have that shoe and skate it and and make it like their own versus somebody like say me Right, I'll put myself in the boat where I get the shoes like, yeah, I used to skate, but I'm not from I'm not finna skate oh, in my well, nah, You kind of know nah, because you kind of just still you you fit in a different bracket. I feel because you still because you know the I'm best. Of, you know, yeah, you know the best of both worlds. You know. Yeah, true. So, Maybe you know, yeah. you kinda, you know like, we kind of make an exception to that. You know, like yeah. somebody somebody who who did the traditional step on a skateboard and almost cracked their head open. You know those yeah. type of guys. Then you know, like, yeah, I can see where you know they're kind of taking away from the culture, and and say our instance, or like say like the, I would say kind of like it's still like kind of showing like a support to it, you know? Yeah, true. still showing like a, a love to it, showing like you know a nod, an, you know, to it, you know. Yeah. So because like I say, you lived it, and you you know, so you know what it's like, so you can you can kind of back that talk up too if i if somebody says ah oh, you you know you just buy skate shoes and you know actually yeah. i did skate you know yeah. so you know exactly you know what i'm saying i won the best but i did learn yeah, you know <laughs> hey hey we got we got, i'm i'm confident now i still step on it and, and like for the people who are scared to step on it and even kick push uh i know i can still get that out the way oh yeah I probably have to warm up if you expect me to try to do Ollie or something again right now. But uh, yeah, I, I can see why would why um people would feel that way. And it's kind of like the same thing uh with how Supreme does when like Supreme drops um like boards and shit, you know? Yeah. Uh, and people get them and they don't even skate, they just get them like that, like that Margella board. Yeah. I would okay. <laughs> you know, I, what, I know right? what, what was the purpose of that? What was the use for that? Like, clearly, you knew what you guys are doing with that, and you know, you know, what people some, are gonna do with it, you know. Some people, and I, I think I'm gonna do this too. Uh, some people get the decks and hang them up as artwork on their yeah, yeah, exactly. And some people get them and sell them. Yeah, true. <laughs> they are new, yeah. It was gonna be a flip ski, but I if I would have got it or something, I probably would have made it a decorative item. That's why that's what I need to bring to the crib. I don't know why I keep like. Man, you should try to get that Stevie Williams deck again when you had the American flag on the side. Remember? Yeah, the one I got now is a kids joint, but I mean, I yeah, did I? Even, I don't think I even had it, but that joint was dope, dope though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I wanted it. I'll put it like that. Yeah, I remember, um, I remember that. Yeah. Um, let me hit the chat real quick. Um, Man with the kick says easy cop today, but I passed hella skip on military brick fours. Oh, why you hating on the? Oh, why man, you hating, uh, Manny? You hating, Manny? Manny, uh, Manny don't. Du all right, Manny. You know I don't care about what you like. Don't double back whenever you see us all dripping in them joints. Hey, cozy, hey, cozy Sunday. Let's just say that. Say, yeah, don't. Cozy hey. Sunday. 
Cause he had he don't have to spin the block before because it was that's what I'm saying. Cozy Sunday. We're gonna we're gonna see that picture. We're gonna see that post. Exactly. Like, come on, Manny. Them joints is fire, dog. Um, <laughs> they I don't know. Don't I, like, yo, Cozy Sunday had to do a double hey, block. <laughs> I'm, them sh- I'm gonna wear them shits all summer. Like, I'm oh, y'all be like, for sure. Some like I want to say beaters, but heavy rotations for sure. You know. Fuck yeah. Versatile too. And you know me, I wasn't. I I. And I'm still on the fence about them. I feel like they could have at least done the cements. They could have done the cements at least, you know, something like that. Um, but like I say, I mean, I'm gonna try my hands at them. See, you know, hey, um, now you don't got a taste of the four mania, man. You see what we yeah, see. Four like, mania. four mania is almost gone now. I mean, I'm saying, but you know, like we got thunders. See. We got we we'll get we, we had thunders, red thunders. We supposed to supposedly allegedly white thunders. Uh, what we get? We got uh, reimagine bread for us. What we get? We get um. Hey, them reimagines. Hey, them reimagines. Them reimagine for us was worth every penny. Yeah, of course, of course. This is fucking yeah. excellent. I was, damn, you know, but like, you know, you gotta think in the like not even the is a year that has been well probably at this point a year, but in that span, you know, like the fours has you know, like, that's been hit. I mean, that's been dropped. That you know that the ones that kind of that stood out, you know. Yeah. Like, well, let's not even forget what was the, the um the one of be defeated, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, them shit. That, what was oh, it like? They were called like the fear or something like that. Not the fear, yeah. but they, it was something like that green tan joint. Wasn't it like a um? It was a different material too. Yeah, like too. canvas. Yeah, like, it was like some yeah. canvas. It's but crap, it was a na- right, it, yeah. There we go. There we go. I was like, it's a name. That's what I was searching for. And then you just told yeah, me yeah, it was a crap yeah, joint. One of these joints, man. Yeah, them shit's sad. Them shit's sad. They sat. Um, let me hit the chat real quick. Uh, Kwame says the camo Kobe's looking okay. I never go for Kobe's yeah, notes. Look at them. They, 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 they're an eye catcher for sure. Oh yeah, you they can't are. help but notice it's the joint. Every, you know, everybody looking at them, but you know. Yeah, people. Think I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna leave him alone, you know. Yeah. Um. Rest in peace to Kobe, by the way, man. Oh, just want to pay rest respect to GG also, you know. Yeah, exactly. Got to get both, you know, gone too soon. Well, rest in peace to everyone that was on that. Yeah. Hurt. Anybody mm-hmm. else that was affected, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That just was crazy, man. And it shocked the world. I know. Well, it shocked you know, what's crazy is the the uh, the photos re- were released of the crash. They that had to pay. Crazy. They had to pay her though. Yeah, but still, it should have never happened, you know? True, true. I'll give you that. Um, Let's see. Let me hit the uh, chat again. Kwame says, it looks like the Fruity Pebble LeBrons. Um, Let's see. Uh, Man with the Kick says, facts, Kwame. I'm going to leave it for the Kobe fans. And I think he's talking about the Venice Beach joints. They look like the Fruity Pebble LeBrons. Um. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. I'm not even leaving for the Kobe fans. I'm leaving for the Hoopers because you can be a Kobe fan and not hoop, you know? Yeah, true. But I'm also uh, leaving for the Kobe fans and the Hoopers, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to kind of stay hands off on it because mm-hmm. um, I know I wouldn't I, I would, I wouldn't even wear that joint, man. Maybe. I know you, I know you got a survey coming up for that because that's a that's gonna be, that's a hot shoot. It is. Yeah. yeah, it's a hot item. Don't have to put that one up there. Um I'm a, when I if, say like the sneaker room, I'm gonna like case in point. If it gets to the point where if I do take up that whole room, I'm gonna try to make it like a different type of style setup. Like I'm mm-hmm. gonna turn the whole thing up, but you know, slowly but surely. Um, it's crazy. Everybody at work is starting to pay attention to what I'm wearing next. Cause somebody yesterday was like, "Yo, wh- where are you getting your shoes from?" And I just had to explain them. Like, you know, I you know I wasn't being disrespectful. I'm like, you know, I've been in, I've been doing it for a while, so you know. These came from here. These came from there. Like you know what I'm saying? Like oh yeah. So you know, but I think they were probably asking because maybe for like their child or something like that. Um, but people pay attention, man. Sneakers are just a good eye candy to begin with. Um, yeah, exactly, man. You know, like I mean, people will you know always look at a good pair of shoes. You know, and people will always notice. Uh, people will, first and foremost, people will notice a brand new pair of shoes instantly. But yeah. people will also will look extra hard and a good looking pair of brand new shoes you know yeah there ain't nothing like a fresh pair man mm-hmm. especially that fresh smell out the box i don't know it's like addicting um let's see uh kwame says 
I skate my why so sad SBs occasionally. Okay. Good. As you should, you know. That's good, you know. Yeah, I respect it. Uh man with the kick says, respectfully, it's still DJ Khaled voice past. I rather wear the reimagined threes and fours. All right. Cool. So he said, respectfully, DJ Khaled voice, he's still passing on the um the uh he's gonna pass on the military blue force, respectively. Hey, to Easter, to Easter, Easter on, but I'm gonna say this: if you switch up, I'm gonna be the guy to say I told you so. <laughs> just, I'm just saying, don't even be mad. Just be like, I told you so. If you switch up, <laughs> um, Emery Black says, I'm definitely need those Kobe eights. If not the eights, those sixes, uh, uh, those sixes though, four, and then he got uh, he got the sick emoji. So, I'm <laughs> um. So let me uh, share my screen real quick and tell the survey is the word we're going to use here tonight so it don't sound so suspect. Um, and then we'll go on to tonight's topics, man. So let me share my screen here. Give me like two seconds. Boom, should be sharing the screen. And pretty much I said, did you catch a W on the Nike SB Dunk Low City of Style Shock Drop? Oh, so, I would have uh, never guessed that. Yeah, you know, the name, yeah, hell no. And then the sad part, what it said on sneakers, it didn't say city of style. Like it said flower dunks. I don't know. It said something else. It said the color of the actual dunks, which they've used that name before. Um, so we'll see how it is. But pretty much, did you catch a W? 553 votes came in, and looks like 16% said yes, 27% said no. And then I put a random question out there always is like uh meh not really feeling them so pretty much 58 percent of the people said they're not feeling them so a lot of people did yeah, as as you know as i suspected you know that's yeah. I anyway yeah so i can respect that um let's see look like we got divine photos in the building he says um if it does shock drop tomorrow i'm all in i'm with divine on those yeah. he's talking about the military blue force mm -hmm. um let's see he says those Kobe 8 Venice beaches is the only nice colorway, in my opinion. So people got their preference because me and Dunks thinks more of the Italian camo joint, you know. But at the end of the day, it's, they hit, they hitting us. This is my thing, too. If we just had a shot drop today, and I ain't count nobody pockets, shot drop today. What's shot crazy drop is somebody today. that goes for all of them. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what, what I want to That's, that's what what crazy see. to me. And I'm yeah. talking about all, all of them in all sizes. Oh wow! Yeah, that's somebody. That's gonna be, to make a come on now. You think? Come on now. You think that those people aren't out there? Or the people that could be like me that just really want the shoes. Like, what if they go for literally? They hit on these. They hit on the industrial blue joints. Then they hit on all three of the Kobe. Are oh, you gonna go, you gonna go for these? Uh, what the Kobe's? Yeah. Um, nah, I ain't gonna go for them. <laughs> I say I use that colorway on a, on something else. And you know, like I said, you might be onto something, you know? Yeah, true, true. Um, let me hit the chat real quick. I am Devon says, What's popping, fellas? What up, yeah, Devon? Man. Uh Men with Kick says, I ain't switching up on those, and I got <laughs> something. <laughs> that is. Oh, really? He doubling down. That is. And he says, I got something on the radar from my B Day. Okay, so that's okay. what he is. That's what it is. So you're gonna double back later. <laughs> um Manny with the kick says divine with the salute. I am divine says the Italian camo is the most limited from what I'm hearing. Oh, of course. Right. Of course. Exactly. Yeah, that's a fact. Uh Divine says salutes to Manny um with the fist pent, uh punch emoji. Uh let's see. Emery Black says Saturday, I'm definitely going for all four of them. I'm going to keep one and flip the rest. Mm. Okay. There you go. Cause we got we got what we got we got those three coming and then what else is coming on Saturday? It's supposed to be another because I know it's only three pairs, but I think it's another sneaker. Is that drop. dunk? Is it that we keep the receipt dunk? Uh, for change dunk or whatever it's called. Let me double check. I'm gonna pull up the sneakers joint real real quick because I'm very curious what the fourth one is. Um, let me see. Go to sneakers real real quick. Oh, that's I, the, oh, oh, it's that five. The five oh oh so you going for the fives too? Oh. Yeah, the fives the fives supposed to be coming here on the thirteenth. Yes, the the fives and then those uh and then all the Kobe's. The Kobe yeah, but oh yeah, they go to Kobe's right there. They loaded up. 
ironically, I think when I was shooting the like video, it wasn't even loaded up yet. I just knew. But them Jackie Robinsons come on that 15. Them joints, hey, it looks it looks perfect. They did a good job. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I just want to say that. Um Does that 42 come off the toe tag and everything. But it ain't on here. It's just got it on the it's oh, you talking about the Velcro joint? Does that come off that 42? I don't know, but it looks like it should. And that will be dope where you have the option so you don't have to wear it. But I keep it just as is. And then I'm liking to do bray that they have on the on the, the bray on the lace loop joint in the toe area. Yeah. Nice. And the nice it's gum bottom, but not overly done. Yeah. You know? Um, so let's go ahead and transition on one of tonight's topics real quick. We're gonna talk the Omi situation, which shouldn't take long because I know at this point nobody's probably surprised. Um, pretty much <laughs> of how that was going to turn out. Um, but it says, and I'm going to read the first little one we got up here. It says, looks like Nike has been granted a default judgment against Omni in the case of for failing to timely file an answer in response to Nike's complaint that was filed November 30th, 2022. Omni's counsel found a motion to withdraw for not paying the court granted he did not hire a new counsel and has not answered since then. So <laughs> to sum this up. He, he had to hire one and hasn't answered because at this point he probably can't afford it. Yeah, he can't afford it. He's locked up. Mm -hmm. And pretty much this rigmarole legal talk that I, I, I wish they would just talk normal. You know, counsel this, motion this. So basically what happened is his attorney withdraw from the case because he said he wasn't paid. The judge, which I've had, a, I had an attorney literally withdraw me when we were going there because usually they do what they call like a pre motion first. And this is probably what happened before the act until he hit that hammer down. Everything else is kind of off the record, even if you tell on yourself right then and there. Um, he technically not supposed to hold it against you, but anyway, uh, pretty much the person withdrew right there on the spot. And then honestly, he said, Okay, well, Mr. Jones, blah 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 blah. blah. And I'm like, I would just like another chance to get an attorney. I mean, he asked me some more questions, you know, like, are you sure? Do you just want to represent yourself? Which in so many words, he was telling me you're going to lose anyway, motherfucker. But I was like, no. And then that's when I had literally, he gave me like 30 days to get another attorney. And then, yeah, um, I had to pay them and I had to end up settling that shit. But anyway, long story short. But that's pretty much what this basically means. Omni pretty much filed a motion Pretty much his attorney was on it, but now like he's locked up. So I'm assuming he's not getting the same type of bag that he's getting. And remember when he tried to get his what fiance, I don't know if they still are together or not to take over the company or something like that and flip it okay. and get some stuff out. So, oh, so he's trying to get your girl locked up too. Yeah, so a lot going on here. And I'm not trying to say like I'm hanging on Omni, but I get it. She probably wants no part. So I mean, you think? I mean, she, you know, she like, I mean. I'm cool spending the money, but not help making it. Exactly. And so pretty much all that's happened is Nike's been granted the certificate for a default judgment, which basically means um, pretty much the default judgment against him means like it's going to work like in Nike's favor. He's got to stop doing this. And I got it highlighted here in blue and it says defendants due to their prolonged failure to pay their substantial outstanding balance for legal services cost owed. Yeah, so that's the reason. So pretty much the case is going to be, I guess, if it's the default judgment is whatever Nike is asking for, which is basically probably going to stop making the fucking product, and they probably want a percentage of whatever was sold from this day to this date, if I remember correctly, and I could be wrong, so that's all legit. Pretty much, hey, tell them to stop selling the shit, and we need X amount of back for the damage and stuff you cause. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. What's which most likely is probably going to, if Nike's being nice, they just be like, hey, give us a million and call it good. A lot of money to you and I, but, you know, <laughs> that's how they work. Where they uh, like, I don't think that happened, though. I mean, no, but I'm saying that's <laughs> what with the yeah. judgment. That's what they can put out there. And it kind of goes yeah. on that. Now, most people don't actually respond because we've seen some stuff happen where people didn't show up to court and it rules in the other person's favor and the other person just ducks and dodges them. Um, the entire time. Mm -hmm. um, case in point, I'll say like great example off mode, but we're on mode. Uh, the baby, uh, his baby mama's brother is trying to file a suit against him, but they can't find him to serve him because that's another thing too. Uh, I've had this happen as well. Ironically, too much legal shit, but um, 
the, the person trying to serve you, they're usually in disguise because they know not to come up looking like a damn cop because you're not going to open the door. I don't personally because you don't have to. So they'll come up looking like, you'll be like, who the fuck is that? But then like, these motherfuckers, like, they'll pull the badge up to the door. I'm like, oh, fuck you. Like, like me? I Like, if cops knock on my door, I'm like, you want to kick that motherfucker in before I open it right now. But anyway, long story short, if they don't technically serve you, then you can't, and then you, you, you're you going to always have an argument that I didn't know about it. So that's pretty much what this is. Um, sorry I had to go on that whole little thing, but pretty much a default judgment, whatever they're asking for, and they'll just continue to serve them, you know, and I assume like they and I highly doubt Nike will take it this far, but they'll probably ask for like assets like, OK, cool. They don't got a million. Give me this. Give me that. And, you know, but again, it can go on forever. And some people play games and transfer like and it sounds like what he was trying to do is you read up. Remember what I told you when he was trying to transfer everything to his girl's name and all that and have her over shit. So basically, uh, if he do lose, which, he know, he's going to pay some money. Right. And he, he ain't getting it like he once was um, probably still doing good. But, you know. Um, let's just say he, from the outside looking in, the man was living a very expensive lifestyle. Right. Now, one thing about being rich, and I was just talking to somebody about this pretty much off the line, or like, yo, if you just want to be rich and then you know live, you know, comfortably and don't ever work again. I'm like, to be honest, even rich people still gotta work to maintain because the thing is, think about it. If you do hit the millions and then you're gonna upgrade your lifestyle, whether you want to or you're gonna upgrade it, unless you're just Warren Buffett. But I guarantee you he got some shit in there that we don't know about. But um, you're going to upgrade your lifestyle. But now you got to. Yeah, unless you just Warren Buffett. <laughs> what? He said, well, he got some shit in there we don't know about. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know, you know he got something flashy. He got yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He just, he keeps a low profile. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you know he got something. <laughs> he got something that'll shit on anybody in the world. <laughs> You know he do. He just you know, he, hey, he got that secret weapon. Hey, you pull up to that motherfucking house. I'm like, man, you fucking you could do better than this. You got this, well, <laughs> all right? Uh, yeah. What the fuck is that? that? Yeah. What the fuck is that? What does exactly. that do? Exactly. <laughs> it's like I'm the only one with this in the world. You know, like get some crazy <laughs> shit. You know, like, it, was just, it was just funny though. You like unless you wore a bucket. But I know that motherfucker got some shit too. Yeah, that's it. You know they you, do, like, you got to. You can't have all that money and not like spend fuck it. some of it off. That's yeah, Come exactly. Think about it. if you that's, that's literally money. torturing yourself. Exactly. That's why I said to be honest, like if somebody like me was to hit the fucking lotto, I might as well go ahead and keep my job. But at the same time, I know I'm still gonna do with the tip. I'm a fuck like I'm gonna say this. I'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna keep going to work and act like nothing happened. But all it's gonna take is that one day where you're like, Eventually that money gonna catch up to you, and you're gonna it's gonna hit you that you got it all. Yeah, like, it's gonna you know, come up two, to you. One of two things are gonna happen, if not both. You're gonna do a ridiculous. Uh, you're gonna spend a ridiculous a lot of um, amount of money. Facts. Or you're gonna quit your job in a ridiculous way. That's what I was getting at. Because so I was gonna take one, money, right? one or the one of the two, if not both. B is probably gonna be both. I'm gonna play because I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I would be like, bro, like because the thing is, yeah, exactly. You know how whenever he was chilling and out of nowhere they hit him, put it here, buddy, and he's like, get your motherfucking hand on my face, like he, you know what I'm saying, like. It just triggered him. That's what it's going to be like for me, where it's like, I'm working normally, but you can tell I'm not happy, but I'm doing the job, and then somebody going to do something slick, and I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to flip out. And just flip. You know, fuck this. Keep the idea I'm out. And oh, then yeah. probably have to be back within a couple years, you know, because also for the people who come up on that type of money fast, if they don't know how to invest it, which a lot of people don't, I'm not even going to play a cards game here. Well, um, slow money is best money, because that way you... You really learn how to earn money and how to, you know, save money and, and budget, how to invest man. and budget and where and where to spend your money and make it work for you and stuff. But fast, we all know fast income is is, is for sure way to crash out. You know? Oh like, yeah. You know, you get that money. Ten, I say ten million. Ten million. The average person will probably be broke in three years. Just getting something like that. Ten yeah. million. Which is a lot of money, but after taxes and everything, taxes. I wouldn't be surprised if you see four million of that. That and huh? then you go and buy yourself something fucking nice. Saying, exactly, because think about it: you hit ten thousand, ten million, and after state taxes, you got to deal with the federal taxes. You got to deal with the lottery tax and all the other little 
medical and all those taxes that come out. So like I say, you're probably gonna be hit, like I say, lucky if you walk away with four million of that money. So so, so what are you gonna do at that point? You're gonna go crazy with it, you know. Apparently, with that, you have two options on the tax side of things. You can ask them to take them all of it out up front, which is a smart move, or you be like, No, I just take care of it with my CPA next uh next year. But usually the way they owe back on it, if they don't take care of it up front, nine times out of ten for the people who took it and said they're gonna take care of their own, they was not able to pay their tax and had to give it pretty much majority of what they had back anyway. Or end up owing the state. Yeah. Pretty the government. Much like, yeah. If they didn't blow it all first, which most likely they did. You know? Why would you but see the thing is, I mean, I get it, I get it. You see 10 million right there up front. You know, uh, you know, and this this is what you won off of. I don't know, a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars tickets. You know, whatever. You, however you want it, you want it off of a, a lot less than what you paid. You know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so I say, so if you see like ten million straight up that you won legally, and you know you, and it's kind of it'll be in the back of your head. You see. It's like you see somebody trying to take that, you know? Yeah. So you no, know, I want my money, you know? Yeah. But you're not thinking that, hey, yeah, okay, cool. Well, you you just bought three Corvettes, cool. Hey, you just bought two houses, wow. Hey, but guess what? You still owe us at least six million of that. You that, know? And the house come with property taxes. Exactly. Well. So, you know, like you you never you can own a house, but you're never gonna be done paying on it because you got to pay to live on that on that person's land. You know, you gotta pay to have that house there. Even if you do own the land, you still got some coming the in of the tax and stuff, right? Yeah, basically, uh, my uh, you know, my my father, he in that situation. Not a bad, it's not a bad situation, but it's like even he's like, you never gonna be done ever paying for it. Like, yeah, we own the home, but I still gotta throw the taxes on it every year. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. It ain't like one of those, like, if anything, it most likely will, most, with homes, it most likely go up depending on the value. You know what I mean? So, and yeah, then, you know, I think if people, you know, unless a person that knows money hits the lottery, then the average person, you know, is most likely not going to see that money for five years, you know? Yeah, true. Um, let me hit the chat real quick. Um, let's see. Uh, Man on the Kick says, never, never, Polo. It says, um, Devon says, those Jordan 5s, the sell Jordan 5s. Uh, appreciate that, Devon. Uh, Eric, uh, Emery Black says, sorry, three of them got you. Okay, so he's only talking about the Kobe's. He had a typo. Uh, Man on the Kick says, my cop list, only a chosen few. I'm not trying to buy shoes I want to wear this year. Okay. So he's saying he's not trying to buy shoes that he won't wear this year. So he, I get it. He's being very selective in his copying, which I thought we all are, man. Um, yeah, I thought that was always the general idea, you know? Yeah, exactly. But, hey, but I mean, I mean, if you want to be a little more conscious on that, hey, nothing wrong with that either, you know? Yeah, honestly, really crack down on it. Hey, whatever. On my resale list, I mean, like on the shoes I want to cop on the resale market is really only down to like four I really want, you know? Mm-hmm. And then the rest, like, I'm going to get these um, military blues. And, like, honestly, if I can do that, I'd be doing great, you know? What do you with the PSGs? Um, Let me look those up. I got to look them up because I don't even know if I – I'm pretty sure I've seen them, but I'll look them up. Yeah, it's the uh, soccer team collab. Remember, the like, there's, like, that maroon color. Oh, the four joints and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, they're not for me, man. They're not bad, though, and I know you like them. Cause mm -hmm. you bring them up often. Now I know what you're talking about. We did look at this before. It just come to my brain. Uh, pause. But remember, we also discussed that. That's what the Amamaya should have been, or should have at least looked something yeah. of that nature. You know? Exactly. All they had to do was take that and put their logo on it and call and it. Yeah, it would have been perfect. You're right. Yeah, exactly. And, then just, and just add your vintage to it. You know? Yeah. And then yeah, throw that on there, and we would have caught it. We would have accepted that over the Barney joints. If you think <laughs> about it, I don't know what they're going for. And I'm not saying you can't make some money off the joints, but um, all honesty is kind of one of those like, bro, like I don't even think about the um, my year fours. Like they look like I mean, honestly, do you really think about any 
other than the three and and what was and the next ones that we're supposed yeah. to be getting you know yeah, basically which i do got the upcoming releases because i do see they did have something that's supposed to be coming here pretty soon we'll touch on it in probably like another like 15 minutes um let me touch the chat real quick uh says man with the kick says omni shorty fumbled the bag shaking my head but she ain't no gold digger jamie fox voice she uh, just didn't want to call it she just she didn't, didn't want to be part of the gold digger she just didn't want to be you know she just want to be up in those cell for the better part of her life you know yeah because trust me if you would have took that on you best believe that they were gonna come for her too yeah and that's crazy to, for you to even do like do that on somebody that you know don't give a fuck, you know and they'll just hold on to it as long as they can and when they when they get locked up they just look at you like <laughs> you know yeah i don't know what happened he was just trying to think fast and you know because he knows if it's in his possession and he owes they're gonna come for it and he knows he's let so limited behind there what he can do mm -hmm. so he he's thinking he's gonna try to put it in somebody that he can trust you know basically if you think he's trying to do what gucci main did remember when he got locked up for the manslaughter um uh that was his he still this is the thing where gucci was go to court he ruled he tried to fight it in self-defense which it really if you listen according to his story because the other guy ain't here to talk about it if he <laughs> didn't do what he did oh, he, friend who oh, jeezy's friend yeah, well they cousin you know oh. what i'm saying cousins but um that's what they oh, said they are right yeah but yeah uh pretty much if gucci said he didn't do what he did it was gonna be him on the other side of it so they were like it's self-defense so the judge was like all right cool uh no you're not getting out of that but it is technically man sort of because the way he did it he didn't aim the, the way the guy passed away he didn't take him out i directly but it was the cause he was he did hit him enough where he went on and passed out or whatever but uh pretty much gucci had to do the minimum i think he had to do two years and then one year on house arrest which was three years but yeah i say all that to say like he um did what omni wants to do with this situation is basically where he had i think he was down to his last seven million a lot of money to me um he gave it to his now wife which i think her name is keisha delore or something like that or dior um and but she see, but see the difference is his was at that point legal money you know yeah because he's he's a successful rapper you know yeah, at that so, point yeah. it was legal money so yeah. he can do that um, yeah, and that's Omni's, thing, all of Omni's money was his. <laughs> her, his crime was of, of, around money. Yeah, so his crime was. His, yeah, yeah his, of course his shit was gonna get seized and frozen. You know. Yeah, and whatever they did leave him with, it obviously wasn't gonna. You know, what I'm saying he needed to get that in somebody else's hands, or it's over. You know. And yeah, and that's what he was trying to do. Yeah, you're exactly. Yeah. And ain't I mean I can't knock a guy for trying because Omni just is a known he just a hustler and a survivor man and mm -hmm. that's why I'm gonna just leave it with that and then we're gonna talk uh champion sales for one bill over one billion dollars and then uh we'll pretty much talk upcoming releases and call it uh a night um so it says it's been reported that authentic brands group has agreed to purchase champion from uh Haynes brand for just over one billion following a weeks long bidding war uh wow and you think like with haynes being like the main owner i know like low key they were doing didn't wasn't jordan had to deal with haynes yeah. right yeah mm -hmm. so you know i haven't seen any of those ads but i remember like uh michael used to be heavy in those commercial man i well, run clearly, that, that, clearly that relationship was over a long time ago yeah man they don't run that but like that show you how pretty much how far sneakers have like come across the board man you know oh, some and, well, and just if you just 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 take a look at jordan's style these days you know yeah he does not like he doesn't even he don't even wear his own good shoes he's wearing like his golf shoes and stuff all day yeah he's he in, really just he's, like, in, in, he's in retired mode status bro like he don't give a damn yeah you know? I'm, a fucking, I'm a multi-billionaire i can i can wear a roll of toilet paper if i want you know all right let's not go into the kanye joint <laughs> how he got to how his wife walking around here <laughs> It's not going, but I get your point. Um, 
Let's see. Champion agreed to be acquired by ABG last Friday on Monday. An unnamed source told uh, WWD, which is pretty AKA much even cheaper quality from Champion. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they could close around the end of May or early June. Damn me. Ah, now that makes sense. I was in Macy's one day and the champion shares were on the discount rack. Oh shit. That makes sense now. I could yeah, like reason. ironically, right? Great. Wow, crazy. Crazy. I was in Macy like two weeks ago, but I was in I also room. heard Macy's is closing. A lot of Macy's are closing. They are. I have actually actually ironically, right? When I was searching for a topic tonight, what we're gonna talk about. Mm-hmm. That was one of the things I was like, I wanted to talk about it, but I'm like, I couldn't incorporate this. I could have incorporated sneakers, but it would have been a stretch, so I continue to look for something else. But I saw that in the process that a lot of Macy's are shutting down. I um, want to see, I want to, you know, a headline that I saw today that um, I want to talk about one day. Uh, I saw that um, it was it's that Bape takes uh, more jabs at Nike by doing another collab with Adidas. Okay. Because, you know, like they say, you know, they have a lawsuit going on. And you know, and and basically, Bape is pretty much saying, "Hey, we still out here collabing. We still our brand's still good, you know. Like, uh-huh. like really, other people still fuck with us, pretty much, you know." Yeah. When it comes to this legal shit, though, Nike batting them out though, slowly but surely. Hey, yeah, but you, you clearly we can see that it's not really affecting Bape in no way because they still out doing their thing. They still getting um, cosigns from. From major brands, clearly, like uh, with Adidas and stuff like that. So, you know, it would have just been great to see if they would have just made it work together. You know what I'm saying? That would have been nice. I mean, I mean, it's not, it's almost like hard to, it's almost hard to really beat a, beat a solid Nike and whoever collab, you know, if it's yeah. done well, it's almost hard to beat that, you know. Right. And, you know, we've seen, you know, track record from Nike and we've seen, when they're hot and when they're onto something, they you know they they got it, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, but what the downfall I feel is when they when they are onto something, they don't know when to let it go. Yeah, you know? they overly do it. Yeah, like with the Travises, like you guys could have done a couple Travises and been done. We don't still need lemon Travises. We don't still need reverse olives after we already got olives. Yeah, you know, still, that, you know that, that definitely. Yeah, they're definitely. Yeah, that was the best example ever, man. Salute, bro. Like. They're milking the F out of the Travis's. They say the Phantoms should have closed it out. And that should have yeah. been it. They say yeah. I still am strong about the Phantoms should have been the final release. I agree. It would have been the perfect way out. Mm-hmm. You know? It would have been the perfect way out. But. So, yeah. you know, And like I say, no, nah, I'll give you even better. The reimagined line Yeah, that they're, that they're running. Like I say, the ones. They say they see a good thing. The aging, there's everything that they see, they get onto a good little no, track record. They don't work with every shoe. It barely, exactly. you know, it they get on work with the three. It barely work with the three. Yeah, I say, and you know, that's the thing with Nike. I say they get the good. They have the i. They have the ideas and the collabs, the strong ones, and they and, and when they hit, they hit. But it's just like they literally they take that literal and be like, okay, this is what they want. You know, and they'll just literally just feed that to the community. Yep. If if not back to back, I can guarantee you, if you don't get one this month, you're gonna get one next month. You know? Yeah. So yeah. you know, and it's like when other brands do the collabs, it's only a it's a, it's a niche. It's like a select few that you know they go for it. like these like these. I guarantee you, a lot of people don't know about the um the Asics and the um. What was it? House, I think. What's that brand? That that H letter. But yeah, that A6 uh, brand is coming up. I have to look that up. I mean, it's a nice shoe. It's a nice shoe. Uh, but like I say, it's just not gonna be something people um are checking for because it's, because that because that brand didn't do it with Nike. True. True. You know. Um. But yeah, look that shoe up later. It's a, I know it's an A6 collab. Um, anybody that know, I'm I'm sure is you know Divine or Manny will probably know. Uh, yeah. everybody, you know, not just those two specifically, but I I just know that those guys are kind of big on trainers and stuff too. You know. Yeah, I think Manny had some trainers on today. Um, I think he had a New Balance joints on today, if I'm not mistaken. Um. But yeah, look those up and tell me how you feel about those. If those would be a good gym shoe for you, 
I definitely check them out. I'm gonna definitely, uh, I'm gonna put them up right now. Like if I can, yeah, let me see if I can actually remember the name because I want yeah. you to pick the shoe out. Yeah. I think it's a nice shoe. Let me see if I can search it real quick. Uh, give me like two seconds. Uh, boom. Just better put on the main screen real quick. Uh, let's see. A six. And what else is it like? A six. Like, do you know like um the? Let's see. I'm you searching? All right. If it comes to you, let me know. Um, I'm gonna read through the rest of the article real quick, and then uh we'll uh go on there. Let's see. Man with the kick says she uh belonged to the streets. Future voice free army. Uh, come on, hidden. man. Oh, it's hidden in why. Hidden in why? Let me see. Of course, that. of course, of course, hidden. Manny, she don't belong in the streets because she didn't want to. Um, she didn't want to get into any of that. You know what I'm saying? I know she she supposed to be the ride or die, but at the same time, you know, not everybody about that life. Um, so you talking about these white and green joints? Yeah. All right, cool. We'll talk about them towards the end of the live. But yeah, Manny, because she didn't want to get any trouble and she was scared, that don't, you know what I'm saying? Like that lady ain't no telling what she, you know what I'm saying? They was going my thing is this, it would have just started, all right, cool, we'll just come after you. And you know, clearly, do you want to keep your boo out of trouble or not? You know, like yeah. you don't want to get involved in that stuff. But um, let me read through the rest of this article real quick. It says Haynes brand, who also owns brands like Jockey and Buns, uh, which I remember that being in like Kmart stores. What jockey? Yeah, Jockey. I never purchased any of it, I don't think. Maybe some of it's been gifted me, but yeah, I didn't know they actually owned that too. Um, they said, originally put one of their biggest brands up for sale last year, looking for a minimum price of $1.4 billion. Um, so yeah, this got negotiated down like we assumed, right? Um, let's see. Champion sales have been Falling over the past few years with their global sales decreasing by 23% in the quarter four, which is Q4, but I'm assuming quarter four, uh, which was blamed on a strategic change in a competitive market for a sport and sports style companies. This style to authentic brands group or no, this sale to authentic brands group who also owns DC shoes. Man, didn't even know that. Owns DC Shoes, Reebok, and Vision Streetwear. Wow. So that's who owns it. So the authentic brands group already own it. So I think that's a nice addition to kind of bring to their stuff. I feel like they can do something with it. Because so yeah, I can kind of see where they would kind of try to. Well, we already see Champion kind of crossing over into this, um, like the um, extreme sports world anyway, you know? Yeah. Champion is kind of a, a big brand over there anyway. Um, so I can kind of see where. You know, buying the company now is going to kind of give them full control as to where they could kind of like release what they want on Champion. They could do the Champion and DC collabs and everything like that. Now they could do the Vision and DC and um, Champion collabs now. You know, yeah. Um, so um, you know, like I say, um, Champion. You know, like I say, yeah. I, what you said about the with the competitive um, market of uh, activewear, so pretty much. You know. Um, yeah, you got to think, especially when it comes to, like, the T-shirts and stuff, you know? Um, you got better quality, like, companies now that produce T-shirts uh, and for a lot less, you know? Like I say, yeah. whereas, like, say, a champion T-shirts, you, like I said, hypothetically, let's just say, you can get a three-pack for, let's say, 15 bucks, okay? okay? Then now you got this brand new company who's producing way higher quality, higher threat count, and they want uh, a five-pack for $15, you know? Yeah. What you gonna go for, you know? And that's gonna be in, and that's even if they're side by side, you know. Like yeah. I, even though you know, with knowing Champion being a solid brand, uh, you know, a legacy brand, and you see this new um, company, but still, you know, you're gonna that that just that extra is gonna entice you more, you know. Yeah, I know we just read it, but you know, like pretty much they said they pretty much couldn't keep with all the other new sports styles companies that came out there but i mean like yeah how much effort did they really put in because i mean like they had i've never seen them in no, like no real active wear like that or sport sporting wear i mean i've seen a couple hoodies a couple crew necks and some t-shirts and some i mean i actually I got, got gym shorts so you know <laughs> i got two joggers two pairs of joggers yeah, exactly you see what i'm saying 
quality is not the best, but when it's like that fit, I want to put on like yeah. I I actually, you know, I do, got a, I do have a champion T-shirt, and you're right, like like that is like you can tell it's in the in the their worst years. Let's just say that. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like I'm just like bro, like I didn't like did y'all switch manufacturers. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Like it just don't feel the same. I and, mean, I get I get color fading, but you gotta do my color gotta sag, bro. You know? <laughs> I know Duff is very big on the collars, man. Ironically, when we was working on the sold out merch, he's like, I don't care, it just better not be no shaggy collar. So, like, I had to find the right fit. Like, but it got to him, like, yeah, but the design is like, yeah, okay, cool. We know where the placement going, but that shag, you know, we just aiming for quality, man. Well, nobody want to look like they've been sweating all day, you know? Yeah, that I will say that's the downside of the Ralph Lauren shirts where, um, the collar only stay up there, but so much, but it, it does get a little wrinkly. It don't stay tight. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's given with t-shirts. I mean, main shirts, you know? Yeah. Yeah, true. everyday, like, type shirts, you know? Yeah, true, true. So um, let me read the chat, and I'll read through the rest of the article, and then we'll talk upcoming releases and wrap this thing up. We're going to be on the joint for, like, another, like, seven minutes. Um, Let's see. Man of the Kick says, she clubbing every night while Omni locked up. But uh, he posted it on his IG stories a couple weeks ago. I mean, she got to live her yeah, life. Hey, man, that man hurt, man. Let him grieve in peace. I mean, but what do you, man hurt. He what, thought, what he thought, do you expect? What do you expect? He thought that was really his shawty for real. <laughs> you know damn well that he went. Like, I'm not judging, right? Yeah, no. But me and my, my dad had this conversation, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some, like... And it all brought back to the Diddy situation, which I ain't trying to get you riled up, but it's like, um, how you know, how you can easily say every guy's doing that. If you got a girl, like you gonna spend some money on her. Well, yeah, of course. You know, this is just an upgraded version. So I say all that to say, like, yeah, same situation. She, she, not say she didn't care about him, but you know, hey, she. But no, no, I'll sum it. She's. She's used to a certain lifestyle now, and you yeah. can't provide that. So she's going to go find somebody that can. And maybe if you get out and your stuff's still the same, be maybe you can still talk. But for now, she has a lifestyle to maintain, you know? And that's, that's the best way I can put it, you know? It's, uh, that sounds You right, but that sounds disgusting, bro. It does, but hey, I mean. It's not cool, man. <laughs> Nothing cool about that. I mean, it's not, but it, you know, he, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's a lifestyle. He started it, you know, he kind of put her in that lifestyle. And you know, like you say, well, you can't maintain that lifestyle right now. You're locked up. So I'm going to go find somebody that can, you know? What about holding your, sh- what about holding it down while you, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, yeah. But like I say, when, you know, like I say, fast money doesn't understand money, you know? Yeah, true. Man, he does because he built the uh he built it so he understands it but she just came into it by being his girlfriend yeah i can't even debate you right now uh let's see we got teenage mutant in the building says you're what up teenage mutant uh, he says what up squad man with the kick says those a6 hiddens my uh uh ny flames dunks okay exactly i'm feeling them yeah, i'm gonna give y'all my opinion here in a few minutes um, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, please, I shouldn't, no, please don't. All right, all right, all right, whatever. I, I don't, <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. You don't know if it's good or bad. I don't, because I mean, just by when I showed you, you just say that they already gave me the answer. So, <laughs> just I picked up all that. <laughs> you didn't even like you, you, you played along. You usually call me out on the spot. You usually call me out on the spot. I, I let it roll. <laughs> All right, good we'll call. Talk about it the end. No, let's talk about it right now. <laughs> hey, we at the end anyway. Let me read the rest of this. And then, yeah, pretty much I'll read the close things out real quick. Um, let's see. Uh, Manny says, what's up, Teenage Mutant? Uh, Kwame says, that cold, though, dunks, it's, uh, but it's reality. Yeah? He's saying that's cold? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Kwame get it, he know. I mean, that's how you know, the game yeah, Everybody get it. And everybody yeah. knows. It's they don't want to say it, but they're right. reality. That's what I'm saying. You right. But it just, it just, yeah, you know, it just don't, I don't, you know, don't, it ain't right. But you right, you know? Like, it's basically like, yeah. It ain't right, man. It ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> you um, <laughs> 
<laughs> Teenage Mutant says, uh, what's up, Manny with the kicks? Strong arm emoji. Um, Teenage Mutant says, who y'all think is the freshest shoe reviewer on YouTube besides yourselves? Um, honestly, I watch everybody because all of our stuff is like, um, all of our stuff is very redundant. Like, I will say this, uh, Skip goes hard. His content makes me laugh. I like his style. It's slightly different. Um, mm -hmm. I will say that. I, I watch his stuff. But I watch, honestly, I turn everybody's on at the end of the day because, hey, they may be having something that we don't know. Like, I'm, I'm going to work together whether they want us to all collaborate or not. <laughs> um, yeah. I watch everybody. I don't got no hate. Um, yeah, me either. I mean, I watch, I'm, I, and I agree with you. I don't have a favorite because at the end of the day, it's all the same shoe. It's just how the person presents it yep. that, that makes the shoe look look and feel a certain way, you know? Yeah. Uh, so it's just like I say, I don't really have a, a, a preference on who I'm watching because at the end of the day, when it's, uh, when it's all said and done, it's, just, it's the same shoe that they're talking about. <laughs> exactly. You know? Exactly. Um, let's see. Teenage Moon says, Jay, the sneaker guy is fresh with his lace swaps and fits. I mean, yeah, he got, yeah, he's all right. Um, he got the swag, he got the swag, but you know, uh, I mean, I there's a few things I would change about you know how you know I don't really need the explosive and all that. You know, the explosion, he, he, he od, he od on <laughs> yeah, that. I don't need the explosions and the in the slow down effects and all that, you know. It's but, just you know, he did his thing, you know, yeah, and then it, it ain't no hate, it's all pressure, no, no, of course. Obviously, his audience like that. Me and Dunks are more like, you know, let's just face it. We 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 turning into the OG slowly. We like stuff just a little bit more. Hey man, just tell me about yeah, the damn thing. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much like I don't know about you. I'm like, man, just get to the fuck. All right, this, this, and this. like I'll I'll be be my always, own. like I always I, I don't first off, you know, when I'm on YouTube, you know, it shows me all the people, and you can clearly you can kind of watch the video without clicking on it. I'll just scroll straight to the part I want to see and then click on it. <laughs> like, I don't need to see all that other stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, but like I said, and that's just, it's really preference though, but I, I rock with him and he definitely put in the grind. Jay's good. Uh, Jay's is, Jay is good. Jay is really yeah. good. I'm not going to. Anybody that we can think of and mention enough, to be honest, they obviously done something semi right to get an audience, you know? So, yeah. and it's easier said than done, you know, versus how like, all these guys, hopefully I'm doing that too, where it make it seem like this is effortlessly, like anybody can do this in five minutes when reality is you need to take, you need to dedicate your time to this a little bit. Mm -hmm. for the, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. And I, you know, I honestly, I mean, I wish I had, you know, a little more time, you know, that I could, you know? Yeah. And but, but I think that's joint, cause it's all you, you're all, it's all you. So like, that's why at the end of the day, I don't feel no ill wills about none of them, you know? Yeah, no, of course, because like you say, at the end of the day, like you say, that vid those videos that they shot could have been shot a week ago, two weeks ago. But yeah. the editing process and all that and making sure that it's done right made it where it could only drop today, you know? Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Yeah, like you say, they just think it's just a lot of people think it's just turn the camera on and you and you're speaking perfectly. Look, you know, everything is perfect, you know, like no noises and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, they make um, it. Yeah, they think like you cut the camera on, shoot the video, and hit perfectly. upload, yeah, hit you upload exactly. YouTube from the camera when it's like, uh, no. Yeah, I guess say some of these, like, them, especially with those guys, those videos probably are taking about a week to uh, edit. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I said, more power to them. You know, I got my process, but even my process, when I'm done with it, I'm drained. That's why, you know, you have to really know your schedule. And I've had to switch it here and there quite a few times, you know? So I think about this, especially, like I say, because you know that they're most likely got those contracts and deals and stuff. So you got to think they're probably, okay. They have to hit certain so, marks. They're probably like this. Yo, we're going to talk about the, this is the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, cool. They do the 10 minutes on that. Turn the camera off. Go change their shirt. Yo, we're about to talk about the blah blah blah. You know, they gotta shoot yeah. like seven videos back to back, you know? <laughs> they yeah. just gonna change your shirt or change your pants and shit to make it look like it's a different day, you know? Yeah, and I don't know if I had that part in me. I mean, I ain't gonna say what I won't do, but yeah. Salute to all those guys, man. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Uh where we at? It says teenage moon says true, true. Uh Kwame says, LOL, I like the dude. He got big energy for sure. Um, 
Let's see. Teenage Mutant says, LOL, I get y'all, but I mean, which review does uh, dresses the best? My bad. Okay. I mean, everybody got their own. I'm going to say this. Maybe he is out of all of us because I've said it a hundred times. Sneakerheads, while we can pick out a great shoe, it's like sometimes we forget the rest of the fit, myself mm -hmm. included. One thing that people have noticed about me, if you see me on a regular, one question I'm like, man, you always wear a white T-shirt. Uh, yeah, I because I know it's gonna coordinate in a fresh white tee, fresh out the pack on anything looks nice to me. So I think I'm on it, but you know, yeah, that's one of my little secrets. But yeah, now there's some people, people like him could probably make anything look drip, and that's that that's a rare occasion. There's some people that can, they some person can make the shoe, and I feel like he does. If anybody, I'm not saying he gets it like that all the time, but if anybody's coming close to really trying to sell you on a shoe, like to make every shoe that yeah, he wear them square, he wear them little skinny white leg jogger pants, and I don't like them. You know, like <laughs> I mean, he do switch it up though. But yeah, he I don't know. It's it's the energy, and that's what I be trying to come with, you know. So mm -hmm. again, either way, it's all preference. Um, teenage Mew says you definitely. Uh, my top sneaker reviewer, Polo, no doubt. Uh, always got you on rotation. Appreciate that, homie. Appreciate it, man. It's good because this joint definitely time consuming and definitely you got to really be into it. Um, Antonio Jones says, I get sick of these guys shopping in my local stores showing the same shoes every time they make a video. Um, he says, or tell me to come to Ross or Burlington for this or that but already bought the store bought up the store <laughs> yeah there are also those people who do the um what is it thrift hunters or whatever yeah i've known people that do that and say the heat but then they be on bought and you can't get it by the time you get there by the time they drop the video um teenage moon says facts 100 uh man with the kick says i only watch polo and dunks plus new york dad i can't watch everyone no offense Okay. Oh, hey, Manny. Hey, appreciate that, man. That's really hey. love. That's really love. Um, I guess we're going to talk upcoming releases here. I think we got the gist of what's going on with this article. Pretty much, I guess what they're going to do says they pretty much said Champion was founded back in 19, uh, 1919. And so pretty much, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> A long time ago here. but Damn, y'all couldn't figure it out since then? Bro, I mean, look how long they've been around, though. It's like maybe okay, exactly. So y'all couldn't figure it out. People get older and they get tired. I mean, it's just like uh, that. maybe they'll do businesses swap out people like you swap out t-shirts, you know, they swap out for new I mean, younger people, new ideas. It still happened with some of our greatest yeah, brands, like cutthroat type shit, you know. It happens with every successful mm -hmm. brand almost, unless the ones that are here for longevity are kept it basic to begin with. Um like a hand champion always has yeah they did but they, they try to venture out with start doing all that all over print stuff and that just didn't work start putting a champion that big c logo and sit all over print stuff that just didn't work it reminds me of echo when it used to be a thing yeah you know well, but, I guess we can make a uh, champion's burial plot right beside Echo. Huh? <laughs> well, we'll see what Haynes gonna do with them now that they purchased them. I believe um, authentic brand, authentic brand. Okay, yeah, authentic brand. <laughs> authentic brand owns Haynes. Okay, yeah, you know? yeah <laughs> that's, the, that's the granddaddy of the yeah, drink. They yeah. the boss. Um, but let's talk some upcoming releases and wrap things up here for the night, man. Um, I did see there is a first look for the I'm on year threes. Uh, Air Jordan threes, these actually aren't looking bad. There's a first look on sneakers for them, uh, not on sneakers, but actually on complex. Oh, okay, okay, they're like a uh, black, they, they're they going for the it's cool, but they also you can tell they put the reimagined hit to it without putting a reimagined title on it. So, pretty much, they just took a black cement and put the the that ashy purple and uh. Wow, you're not even looking at the shoe and you're describing it by verbatim. And the clear little back tab on it, pretty much. I don't even see the back tab, but it's probably there. But all they did was an aging on the white part of the mm -hmm. shoe. They did an aging joint, faded and ruffled up the purple part. And here you go. Not hating on the shoe. Not no, no. I mean, because obviously, you know, we're all still going to go for it, you know? Yeah. 
But right. and then of course they got their logo. I do love that they do their logo on the tongue. Pause. Uh I my I'm a real big fan of the quilting. That's what I like. Oh, on the inside. Yeah, that's uh, that's what that's what uh, um, that's what sells it for you. About, yeah, exactly. For I'm on my yeah that quilting. That's what does it for and me. Yeah. I love that. Nike check. I'm scrolling down the images here. Nike check on the back of them thing. Well, obviously that's a given, you know. But I'm talking about their touch. Yeah, but that that's that's like a always a, a head thinker turner for me. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then they got what it looks like is supposed to be the um my year fours. Um, we seen some that I guess the owner, I think his name is James Whitaker, uh, is wearing them himself. Um, they're like faded purple. I'm not. I'm just saying they. So when it comes to the fours, I feel like they're lacking each and every time because we gave them the blueprint. But maybe it's for some strange reason they can't use it. I yeah. don't know. And then um, we got the Jackie Robinson that's supposed to be coming. Uh, let me see if I can pull those up. Give me like two seconds. And then also let me pull up this. While I'm at it real quick because it's closest to me, the A6 joints y'all were telling me about, the hidden NY joints. Um, It's okay. I, I don't know. Like. Uh, I'm starting to think you just don't like hidden and why. No, nah, man, that's not it. I got, <laughs> I, got, I got one of their stuff right now. Oh, I got the awake joint. I got the awake yeah. joint. That's different. But um, it's not that. It's just, I don't know, man. Like, it don't scream like, I mean, I get it, but I mean, if I mean, no, don't they don't pressure yourself into like you know, you know, no yeah. self pressure yourself, yeah. you know. They didn't, I'm gonna say this if they didn't exist, I wouldn't miss them, and that's the nicest way I can put it. Well, yeah, but you know, I mean, there's you no know, in a couple of months, you you know, you're right, and I do need some new gym shoes, so why not? And you know, they actually are comfortable and they actually are uh, fire. Wow, I ain't say all that, I just said I was no, no, not right now, but in a couple of months when you say that, yeah. And then we got the Air Jordan 3, the Nina Chanel joints, the green joints. I don't know if you've seen those floating around where it's got that orange back tab on there. Uh, and then the carpet Nike Air. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So they pull that off and put that on there. Yes, you're exactly right. Um, let's see. We already talked about the Kobe's that's supposed to drop. And then, of course, we talked about the military blue fours. Um, anything else I think we got on the radar or did we cover it all? And I think I seen some floating around with Yachty. Holding up something. Let me see if I can uh pull oh, those uh CPFMs. Yeah, I had to pull those on there because I knew that that's like one of your favorite like brands slash like the collab with the cat. I want those. I want those. I want the um. I want the originals. So they got a black oh, and only a black pair. The black pair with the white trim. That that was gonna. That's my favorite because the lime green mm-hmm. joint or whatever olive or whatever color is gonna be. Not so much. The white's gonna do what they are gonna do. I feel like the whites and the blacks gonna do what they're gonna do in that pink joint. Um, and for whoever wanted, but for me, for the ladies, um, overall, yeah. If I had to pick, like if I'm gonna go and like if I just need to buy you, I say I'll take the black joint. And to yeah. be honest, the olive joint looking at the from this angle, it don't look bad. Yeah, I mean, honestly, none of them are bad. Like I say, it's just about preference if you decide to get some, you know. Yeah, true. Which, think, what, these are gonna be a lead, I guarantee you what are you thinking 350 300 I was gonna say 250 I want to say three sheesh is it gonna have three M? look like the way the lighting hit it I think though the air is gonna have 3m on it too oh okay oh no they said price according to this and again this we don't know if this is true but they're saying 150 dollars but I have a feeling okay. What a collab! Hopefully. They gotta be at least put a little sauce on it. Pause. You know, Hopefully. they they always do, but you never know. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, let me put us back on the main screen. I'll read through the rest of the chat, and then we're gonna wrap things up here for the night. Um, this definitely was a good one for sure. Um, let me read through this real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, where we at? Uh, Teenage Mutant says facts 100. Man, read that one. Teenage Mutant says 1919 question mark with a whole bunch of um, I was uh, say, God damn, man, <laughs> that shit was fucking before time almost. He said, Holy, he's laughing exactly. So I'm saying, God damn, man. Hey, you said, Hey, they could get it together after all. Yeah, I mean, bro, they tired, bro. They old, <laughs> man. Um, let's see. Kwame says, I forgot Echo existed until now. Yeah. 
<laughs> it used to be that thing. Like that used to be was in the movies. People was rocking. I always wanted some, but by the time I was able to have enough money to buy some Man, of that stuff, Echo released a video game about tagging. That right. lets you know how culturally impactful Echo was at one point. That just lets you know that they resonated more with like the tagger um and the streetwear, you know, side of things. You know, they yeah. created the whole video game about street art yeah like graffiti mm -hmm. you know i remember that um let's see uh antonio jones says sometimes i be thinking the shoe is drip but when polo break it down i come to my senses and realize it may not be worth an impulse buy that's all i'm saying like me like i be my it be based off me because i'm like i don't want to do that because bro if i bought half the shoes that like look that i thought halfway was okay Bro, like I, I won't have a space. Like yeah. I don't know if you notice, and I know Dunks has said this too. As you've started to acquire more shoes, you don't realize how much space, especially if you're like us trying to keep everything. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But um, this is, I'm just gonna follow up to what um he said about you know um that uh yeah that's true and I agree. But also remember, you your own person. You don't want a closet full of polo shoes pretty you know what i'm saying yeah be your own yeah be your yeah. own individual but i get you know you take my yeah, I thoughts, get it, exactly yeah. yeah you take my thoughts into consideration um i have seen plenty of shoes where they've done a great job and i'm like nope i'm good seeing yeah, them exactly. in person I mean, there's been shoes that literally we've okay we've argued about like what right. are you talking about you know so yeah exactly yeah. then know? it's one of those i'll see it in person I'm like damn i could i should you know especially as big shoes yeah, that one's the one that's probably gonna be <laughs> forever. Cause I literally have why don't you just go ahead and get them, man? Just go ahead and get them out the way. It's hard because everybody don't F them up. Oh, so you can't find that decent pair. I'm sure you say oh. trust me, I've looked for you. Oh. Yeah, I already looked because I was giving in slowly but surely, man. It's 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 just one of those. I'm gonna have to they're gonna have to spend a block on that one again. I think hopefully, you know, we'll be in the next level, OG level. Yeah, man. Keep them black cat threes that you guys said we're supposed to get uh, allegedly. And just do the black cat fours. That's what I'm saying. That would be nice. Um, let's see. Teenage Moon says, I got a guilty pleasure with Echo, no cap, lol, low key, goes hard for me. Pause. Um, hey, hey, to, hey they had they run. That's what we're saying. Uh, Kwame says, Those Kentucky Dunk lows are sitting on DSG and will drop on Nike app soon with free shipping. Appreciate that, Kwame. Uh, Teenage Mutant says, Love my threes and my I'm my years, but I'm a pass on those. Okay, so he's not feeling those black threes. No. Um, teenage Mew says the uh mood dust fives or five. Oh, the I'm my year dust fives. Yeah, I don't know why I read it that way, but yeah, you're talking about the I'm my year fives. The black, do you like the black or the sale? Um, I know dunks, you said you like both. Mm -hmm. Um, Antonio says, looks like some pay less ASICs. His words, not mine. Um, Teenage Mutant laughing at uh, Antonio. Let's see. Devon says, Uncle Chrissy said Jordan 4 military blues confirmed for tomorrow. Okay. So we'll see. Um, I think I am going to try to go ahead and get mine out of the way. If I don't hit, I think I will wait to see if they hit the foot sites and do a mall vlog. That's what I would want. In a perfect world, that's what I would want to do if I don't hit on the shock drop. Well, but if I they drop it tomorrow, then I know most likely – um, and if I don't hit, I know that means Hibbits isn't going to be far behind. So, yeah, if I don't hit on sneakers, and you know, my street go to. <laughs> yeah, everybody got their preference stores. Mine usually be Foot Locker in my area. Um, yeah. let's see, Devon says, Gentlemen, we in there tomorrow. Um, okay, so he's doubling down on it. Mm -hmm. um, Antonio says, I really been on uh, Vomero 5 vibe, so. I'll you know what? I want to pick up some Vomeros. I do. I really do. Uh, they're okay. Maybe I don't, no, I don't have any. Oh. I think it would probably be a good gym shoe for me, but uh, I don't know. I look at them, but I don't really bat an eye at them too much. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Teenage Mutant says, cop the Jordan 5 Lucky Greens. Can't wait for them to come through. Only waiting for the Rio 3s. Hopefully I get them. Okay, I respect it. 
Manny says, facts, Teenage Moon, my favorite five. Teenage Moon says 100 with Manny with the kicks. Um, but other than that, man, let's uh, wrap things up for tonight. I think we pretty much covered everything. Appreciate everybody for being uh, active in the chat and coming through. Y'all make sure y'all smash that like button, man. Sub up too if you haven't done so already. Um, of course, y'all know my name is Jeremy Jones, and what I do is make content about sneakers, occasional trial halls, um, and you know we got Music Monday. But this is sold out. Sign up for that sold out Discord. Link is pinned at the top of the chat, and it's free to sign up. Me and Dunks will be back live again on Saturday, and I'm going to let them go ahead and take us out for the night. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us. This was a good one. Uh, like I say, we got those militaries coming up tomorrow, uh, industrials, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so, um, like I say, we know that you know this is going to be a 215, you know, price tag on these. So, like I say, you know, yeah, exactly. So, gotta stay. You, know, I, you know, I'm gonna always say, you know, spend wisely, you know, if you can, why not? If and if, like I say, if you got other obligations, obviously take care of those too. Um, but and if they're just not for you, then they're just not for you. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, if anybody is going for them tomorrow, good luck. Probably gonna try by hand at them, see you know, see what I can do. Um, and yeah, like I said, I think that's it, man. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what else we got coming, man. But yeah, besides that, yeah, we'll be back Saturday, and uh, everybody have a great rest of your night. Most definitely, man. And we're officially out this day, man. Peace. Peace.
for me, girl. If you slide, tell me now what you do for me, girl. Been alone for some time, so it's new for me, girl. But I wanna take a chance on you truthfully, girl. Girl, I'll be a man, I know you need that. Where you all peace, you need to leave that. Got you on my lock, I need to keep that. Yeah, I mean that. Oh, you see that? I've been trying to hold back, gotta practice of control. Every time I call you, girl, I always get that tone. I just need to see you, girl, I'm tired of that phone. Just say when you alone, on my way, I'm going gone, yeah. I just told my shawty, better come through. We can turn it up if you want to. Looking at the sky through the sun roof. We can do whatever, girl, come through. I just told my shawty, better come through. We can turn it up if you want to. Yeah. Looking at the sky through